The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. For our next segment, Drew, who are you going to call? Gyno might. It's time to ask the gyno. And our first question comes to us via Facebook from Sophie. She asks, I've seen online that women use mouthwash as a douche because it is antibacterial. Is this a good way to clean down there? Everyone take a deep breath. Because they are outraged. <laughs> there, there, there were quite a few. Yeah. What? <laughs> as far as I know, you can't gargle down there, can you? Right, you cannot. That's what I heard. <laughs> I mean, of course, you never I, know. I, I, you I, never, actually, yeah, you, I actually think this is a valid question, though, because this is out there. OK, you want to talk about it. Well, I'm, I'm wondering, it. though, is this question, do you think, being asked from the perspective of saying the antibacterial quality, are they worried, do you think, about sexually transmitted infections. I'm, I'll let you get into it, because there's a lot of elements to this question that are going through my head. A lot of elements. OK, so let's just start with the basics. One in five women ages 15 to 44 still douche. And for some reason, this douching like myth just will not die. Do not do this. Don't do it. But let's just talk about. Period. Period. So let's just talk about douching in general. We know that if you use water or another fluid mixture like mouthwash to wash or clean out the vagina, that's douching, okay? And we don't recommend that. Some women say, well, I do it as a preventative measure. I wanna make sure that things stay okay down there. For those women, what I will say is, your vagina has it covered. There's a balance of bacteria in your vagina and that balance maintains a certain level of acidity. And when you maintain that acidic environment, it decreases the probability that you'll get like certain infections and irritation and things like that. So as women, when we try to help out and we start using these creams and gels and douching and doing all of these things, we disrupt that balance and we increase the probability that we'll get things like bacterial vaginosis, a yeast infection. Also, if you have sexual intercourse with someone and they have the HIV virus, it can increase the probability of you getting HIV. Now for those women who say, well, I already have some type of imbalance because I have an odor, what I would say to you is, number one, you don't want to mask an odor anyway. You want to figure out what the underlying cause is. And also, if you have an active bacterial infection and you douche, then it can wash that, that bacteria from the vagina up your uterus into your fallopian tubes and ovaries, and that can lead to something called pelvic inflammatory disease, known as PID. That's associated with chronic pelvic pain or infertility, and also, <clears throat> If that's not enough for you, the inducing has been associated with preterm delivery, irritation, and like all these things. So my point is, I know as women, we only get one vagina and we really want to help. We want it to be spectacular. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You got your point. I won't do this anymore. Do it. Don't do it. If somebody tells you, just tell them, say, you know what? Douching is dead to me. <laughs> like, that's what I want you to say. Do me a favor, though, and, and address specifically why the Women wash. think something like mouthwash might do or might have some benefit okay. because there have been studies yes. on mouthwash. Obviously, mouth, most mouthwashes have some antibacterial elements to Absolutely. it. Absolutely. So, great question. We know that um, sexually transmitted infections can live in, the, live in the genital region, but they can also live in the mouth or throat. For example, syphilis, herpes, chlamydia, or gonorrhea. And even in the 1800s, there was a specific mouthwash, and they said, we can cure your gonorrhea. Well, they said, we can do this, but people didn't really follow up on it. It kind of fell by the wayside. Then there was another small study in, Austra in Australia, and with that study, they found that if people use mouthwash, then there was a decrease in the a certain type of bacteria that was associated with uh, the gonorrhea, but they only tested after five minutes of using the mouthwash, so they don't know if it was long-term. It was not conclusive. They said they needed bigger studies. So what we know is that mouthwash has not been conclusively found to kill gonorrhea in your throat. And when people saw that study, though, what they, they did thought, was they oh, well, the information. I should use do it this as a douche now. In the vagina. So it wasn't true in the throat. But on top of that, people still took that information and said, let me use it in my vagina. Maybe it will work. It won't work in your throat. It won't work in your vagina. But you do want to be careful because if you have a throat infection, then you can definitely pass it to someone else if you perform oral sex on them. And also, if you have gonorrhea in your throat, it can actually spread throughout your body and have a profound impact that way with your heart and your joints and things. So do not use the mouthwash in your vagina.